Hi, uh, I wanted to speak right now about, um, I think it's a TV station, um, but it's um, a network, I think, yeah, that has um, recently made a decision which um, I can't say that I approve of. Um, Cinemax, the um, company owned by HBO, I think it is. Um, I don't have um, any of that um, uh, package. I don't have TV packages, so I wouldn't know. I just know what I've read online about it. Um, but yeah, um, Cinemax, I think, are owned by HBO. And they broadcast um, movies, uh, from my understanding. And they, all re they also broadcast original shows. Commission original shows. And many of these I am a massive fan of. I've done another video where I've spoken about um, my beloved new favourite, Banshee. Which I've now had for a few years and I've seen it, so well, I'm actually looking at it again for an eighth time. Blew me away completely. That's a Cinemax show. And just about a year, yeah, just about a, nearly a year ago now, I also looked at a show called Strike Back, which is not just Cinemax, but it's co commissioned by British Sky One. So it's the US and UK teaming up to make this. But as far as I'm concerned, Cinemax turned it into the world beating show that it became. And they did eight seasons. They actually did seven seasons because the first series was actually a mini series. And I saw that. My brother got a copy for 50p. And um, so I looked at it and frankly I was not too impressed. And I think when Cinemax came into it and turned it into a ten episode um, season, it was much. That was more. You know, I mean, that was just a, that's just a world beater. It damn near equal Banshee for me. But anyway, yeah. So they commissioned they co commissioned that as well. And last year, I also found out about a show called Jet, which was actually broadcast on Cinemax in 2019. They um, so far they've only done one season. But then, of course, in 2020, last year, well, all this um, nonsense began, and it was postponed. So, um, like many things. But uh, someone I knew um, at my job um, downloaded it for me and I was able to get it off them. And it's also just been released on DVD. US edition. So I've just ordered it. Um, Jet. Which I saw, at, I saw a snippet of it on YouTube and I just thought, oh, I've got to have that. So I did get that and I did, I was able to look at the, um, the that season and it was amazing. Brilliant show. Um, yeah, it's all about a master, the lady who's a master thief and she's just released prison, but you know, everyone still wants her services. And she then gets blackmailed or recruited by someone to um, do this um, other job or to work for them. Um, stars the brilliant Carla Gugina. It's a um, great show, very strong content, but it's um, it's just it is really it's just br I just love it. It's brilliant. And of course, when this whole nonsense came along last year, I did wonder: well, are they going to do another season? Because um, I won't say how the season ended, of course, but it ended on a cliffhanger. I thought they can't end it there. You know, so I hope that they will do another season. But I've just recently looked online about Cinemax because I wanted to find a bit more about them and see if there's other shows that they've done. And they have done other ones. There's another one called The Nick. K-N-I-C-K. Short for The Knickerbocker. Which is actually... Um, I think it's actually based on fact. It's a um, show set in the Knickerbocker Hospital in New York in, I think, the 1900s. I thought it was the 1920s, but I think it's the 1900s. And I've seen a trailer for it, and it looks really decent. Thought another great show from Cinemax. 
But I also recently discovered that Cinemax were going to... They made the decision to stop commissioning original shows. So basically Cinemax are not doing original shows anymore. They're just showing movies, I think, on their channel. And I don't get why. Because they're so damn good at it. You know, I just don't get that decision to stop to stop commissioning original shows on TV because I mean up until now, I mean nearly everyone they've done I don't think I've well of course I don't know about the Nick because I haven't seen it yet, the Nickelbox short the Nickelbox. I haven't seen that yet, but the other ones that they've done, I think they've been brilliant. So I just it would be so great if Cinemax could change their mind. I know there's not much likelihood of that, I suppose, but um, I just think it's a damn pity that Cinemax are not doing that anymore. Great shame. And it means now, of course, what I've also read is that they are doing another season of Jet, but it's going to have to find a new home. So it won't be broadcast on Cinemax anymore. I don't think it will be the same. If it will be, if it will be still a great show, then fine, but I prefer it on Cinemax. So, yeah, to those at Cinemax, why? Why did you do... Stopping... You've stopped commissioning original shows when you're so damn good at... I mean, I honestly just don't get why you've done that. Um, I don't think it's a great decision either. I mean, I wouldn't wish ill on them, but I'm hoping they live to regret that decision. Or rather, I hope they do have a change of mind and start doing it again. It is possible. You don't, you know, don't know. But um, I just don't think it's a great decision to um, to do that. To stop commissioning these originals. To stop putting on commission these original shows because they're so damn good at it and nearly every and again everyone I've looked at has been brilliant I mean as soon as I see Cinemax now I think wow what have they come up with now it's like what amazing um yeah come on Cinemax you're so damn good at it don't quit don't stop have a change your mind and bring it back and do what you're damn good at because um I think the world needs you quite frankly so um don't do it. See you later. Bye.